I'm Ethan Owens from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine and today I'm joined by Justin Machotta, Senior Coach of Teacher Gully Footy Club in the Division 1 and this is our weekly roundup. So we'll just start off by going through the results from the, the Norwood Hotel Division 1 from yesterday. Ross Trevor Old Collegians defeated Salisbury North by 77. Port Districts defeated Adelaide University by 7. Mobbury defeated Goodwood Saints by 4. Prince Alfred Old Collegians defeated St. Peter's Old Collegians by 7. And your boys, Teacher Gully, defeated Paynham Norwood Union by 49. Good result. What are your thoughts on the match from yesterday? Yeah, it was a good result. Um, it was a highly anticipated game, uh, obviously. We've uh, got a fairly decent rivalry building between the two clubs. Uh, we had the inaugural MND Awareness Day uh, between the two clubs where we uh, raise awareness for motor neuron disease. And um, there's a... Uh, very close friend of ours, which has become like family to the club. Um, and Glenn Malloy, our assistant coach, his best, his lifelong best friend, has been struck and down with uh, motor neuron disease. So it's something that we've been creating awareness for uh, over the last 12 months. And uh, the two clubs have got together and, and created a um, an inaugural uh, day, which we're going to continue uh, every season between the two clubs. And the amateur league have actually. Um, decided that they're going to have a full round between all the grades uh, next year uh, to raise more awareness for motor neuron disease. So it's a great initiative by the league and uh, it's a credit to both clubs for, for putting it together. And um, as far as the game went yesterday, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really tough fought game. Uh, it was pretty scrappy early. Both sides tried to struggle for the initiative and, and gain some uncertainty there. And we managed to, uh, to battle out the... I think we went up at three points at half time and, and uh, it was a bit of a slog in the third quarter still and, and we went in at three quarter time and eventually you know, our structure shone through and, and the boys were able to capitalise and, and get some clean footy and, and uh, we ended up running away winners uh, quite convincingly in the end but uh, it's a real credit to the guys, we keep getting challenged each week and, and for a young group to stand up the way they are, it's, uh, it's really pleasing. And so obviously it was a very special round personally for your team. Um, was it even it was it even better to continue to continue your undefeated run so far? Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, we're under no illusions that it's uh, it's a really tough competition that we're playing in, and, and on any given day uh, you can get beaten if you're not uh, if you're not ready for the contest. And to credit again to our boys, we're prepared. Um, we've had a big preseason. We've gone through a lot of changes. Uh, we've turned over a lot of players. But the belief uh, in each other and the system is, uh, is really standing strong at, uh, at the moment. And um, to continue the, the, the form start of the year, although we're still building, we still haven't had that solid four-quarter performance as yet. So there's still a lot of upside for this group to come. Absolutely. And who really, who really stepped up for you guys yesterday? Who do you feel like you, were your best players? Yeah, look, again, it's really difficult uh, to pick best players each week. We're getting a, a really fairly uh, long spread right across the board. Um, everybody's sharing the load. But um, Matty Stent was prolific early. Uh, he broke the lines. Uh, he really took the game on, and he continued that um, all day. He was really good. And Alex Mackay, our captain, is, um, is an outstanding leader. He probably hasn't got a lot of group recognition so far early this year. Um, but uh, yesterday he was enormous. He, he led from the front again and was just um, real busy around the stoppages. And, and he stood up for us. Um, Tom Bilby, a uh, young fellow, he's starting to get a lot of consistency with his football now. Uh, Dill Schoenmakers, um, who's obviously our junior, he had a bit of a stint with the Crows last year. And, and we're, we're very fortunate to get him back to the club. And although a 20 year old, um, plays with a lot of experience, a lot of level-headed, and, and he's got a lot of talent. And, and he really stood up for us yesterday when, um, when the game was on the line and, and made sure that um, yeah, we kept, kept on going in a positive flow. So. Absolutely, and looking forward to next week in the Division 1. Ross Trevor will play Port Districts. Paynham Norwood Union will play St Peter's Old Collegians. Salisbury North will play Prince Alfred Old Collegians. Adelaide University will play Mobbury. And Goodwood Saints will play your guys, Teacher Gully. Um, how are you looking to approach that match after the result this week? Yeah, look, it's always a tough battle between the two clubs. Um, we play, uh, it's another uh, fundraiser and awareness for Beyond Blue. Uh, the two clubs have been um, having that um, game for approximately, oh, it would be going on seven, eight years now. 
Um, and that's a really good day for both clubs. Uh, so both times we, we play each other during the year, we play for the Beyond Blue uh, Foundation. And, and Goodwood have obviously recruited well this year uh, with a lot of experience. So it's uh, probably, uh, I suppose, the opposite to the way we've sort of gone. They might have a bit of a yix, uh, mix sorry, with youth and experience where we're pretty much re really young right across the board. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the game goes, to be honest. Um, I'm expecting it to be pretty tight early. Um, Goodwood to, to try and grain, uh, gain the uncertainty and, and hold on to possession and, and try to take us on. Um, but we just got to get the game on our terms as quickly as we can. And if we do that, then yeah, I believe we're in good shape. Sounds like it's going to be uh, quite a thrilling match and a great opportunity to support an awesome cause. So thanks, Justin. I'm Ethan Owens from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine. And today I was joined by Justin Machotta, Senior Coach of Teacher Gully Footy Club in the Division 1. And that was our weekly roundup.